Okay, so so when you're um, strengthening the, the core of you, would you do you, do you ever meditate? Are you into yoga? Have you ever done any um, you know reading self help stuff? Is, is there? I mean, you're pretty motivated all, all the time. I mean, yeah. I've, never, I've never seen you anything on anything but level ten. No, <laughs> look, I, I love life. Look, I, I've got to say, honest to God. I, I've always appreciated and loved life. I, my best mate passed away at the age of 38. I grew up with him from knee high, uh, Scotty Gale, and, and he died of a motor neuron disease at the age of 38. And, and that really yeah, sort of, that really does change your life. You know, yeah. there, there are moments in your life, there are things called turning points, TPs That's I call them, in your life that you think, my God, you know, what are we here for? What else is there in life? I mean, I've, you know, you've got your nice car, you've got your nice house, you've got two beautiful kids. How good's life? I mean, you say, where does it go? Because it can't get any better than this. Yeah. And and really, I had a very good friend also who was Richard Pratt. Richard Pratt was one of the wealthiest blokes in this country, and he passed away less than a year ago. Yeah. We had lunch every Wednesday, and he would get so frustrated with me because I would never ask him for anything. For three and a half years, we would do every Wednesday we'd do lunch, and he'd say, but I, and I'd always offer to pay my own way, yeah. and he and he used to get frustrated to know when he goes, mate. You never ask me for anything. Every bastard in the world always wants, 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 wants something off me. I said, Dick, I don't need anything off you. Yeah. I'm healthy. I have two beautiful children. I, I, I can eat. I'm eating the same food as you are. I'm going to the toilet like you do. I'm breathing the same air. Um, you know, there's not much more in my life that I want. And, I, and I'm always, and he goes, but you're always happy. I'm, I'm upbeat because I really do appreciate it. And I think people, and it's easy to say, oh, I'm going to start to appreciate every day. But you really got to appreciate it. How do you do that? So you're sitting at home. You've got someone sitting at home. Many people. I've been in this situation, which is one of the reasons we're doing this life change experiment. Yeah. You know, you're sitting at home. You're going, what's my life coming to? What's the point? I, you know, I've got all these wonderful things, but I just don't feel like I'm going any place. Mm. I don't know how to change. You're stuck in the everyday rut, getting up and doing your normal mm. job, coming home. What do you say to those people? I say you've got to find something that you enjoy doing. And it might be preaching. It might be, I, I, I don't know what it is, whether it be sport. I mean, it, some kids say, oh, well, I'm good at my, my Nintendo game at home. Yeah, and so yeah. I'm, if I'm going to be good, I want to be, that's, the games, we, we didn't grow up with all this stuff. This yeah. technology today, they say it's terrific, it's amazing, and wow. But I, I differ. You know, my kid, I, I clip my boy over the year all the time when, he, when I come yeah. home, and there he is, he's playing for, I, I, I don't allow that. He's, they're allowed to have two hours a week to watch TV yeah. and there's no machines unless they want to play it on the weekend. That is it. They are such a menace. People underestimate, because it's such a multi-billion dollar bloody business, yeah. Yeah. these things are an absolute menace and um, there's not one good thing I think thing comes out of these playing these machines other than the fact that parents get selfish yeah. and say, they, you know, go sit in the corner and they don't bother you because they don't say or do anything yeah. and they're not a nuisance. So therefore that's the easy option for them to go, no, turn it off. We're going for a walk. We're going to go to the park. We're going to do something other than do this. We're going to talk about our day. Yeah, that's a good one. Talking about your day. Just I about like your that. day and talk yeah. about it and get your mind working and, and, and appreciating what we've done. What was the best part? I always ask my kids, what, what, what's the best part of your day today? Yeah. What was the best part and what was the worst part and why? And, you know, how can tomorrow be a better day? What yeah. can you do to help someone? You know, they're the little things that they're not, they're not financial or they're not, they're not, um, uh, career change, in th but they're most important. And do you think they add up? So you do, you do enough of those little things in your life and you'll find that over a period of time you'll have made big changes in it's their life fact, or your yeah. life. So, so have you ever had any times in your life where you've, you've been particularly down and you've thought, I oh. can't get out of this, this is, I'm never going to change, things are never going to change? A lot of times. Oh, yeah? yeah, absolutely. You know, l l l l l l let's not pretend that I've got this life that's ever, forever just a joyous and one... Sure. Maybe I give that impression yeah. how they're right. <laughs> but look, no, I get, there are tough times, you know. And look, and, and, and one thing my father said to me, that I've had some tragic moments in my life. And, and, and he says, and, and that's where you revert back to God. And I said, this is, these are the things that God tests you on, these things, you know. These are tests in okay, your so life. You see them as tests. The I find them, I always, okay. the challenges. And you see, how do you, how do you, how do, are you going to pass this test? Yeah. This is an absolute disaster of my life. This a phase in my life, how are you going to get over this? This is a test. That God's given you a test. Are you good? You, there are two roads you can take, this one or this one. Yeah. And you, you don't like losing. Because you don't like, yeah, I hate it losing. It comes to sport. Can I beat this test? Again, I'll revert back to sport. 
Yeah. You know, like you're down 30 nil at half time. You're in the dressing room. You think, my God, what are we going to do? We're going to get beat 50, 60 nil, yeah. or we're going to make this a real competitive. So that's up to us to decide that, and that comes within. And you know that you'll grow from your training. And so you, you look at the challenge that you're up against, and you think, I will actually grow f as a person from this challenge. But you do. Yeah. But anyone out there now, we just close your eyes for one second. Your room. Where was a bad time in my life? My girlfriend break up. My boyfriend break up with me. Uh, business, I lost everything in the business. And you close your eyes and you think, how am I going to get out of this? Yeah. And, and they're the things you go, well, I've just got to, be, I've got to be better for this. There's a reason for something. I always say there's a reason why this happened. Okay. And if that's the reason, it's got to make me a better person. How do I become a better person? It is the little steps.